He has married the ugliest bride, us in our sin. He has united us to himself in order to present us holy and pure. He took us while we were sinners and enemies and entered into an inseparable union with us. And he purchased us with a price just as Adam closed his eyes and got a bride out of his side. So Christ closed his eyes in death and received a bride from his side. As that spirit pierced his side and water and blood that cleanses us came out. He has procured a bride for himself entered into a covenant relationship with us that can never be dissolved. We are our beloveds. Our beloved is ours. God is our God. We are his people. And in a marriage, everything that is our spouse's becomes ours. And everything that is ours becomes our spouse's. In this marriage with our Lord, our sin becomes his. And he pays for it all. That's the only thing we contribute to this relationship. But his righteousness, his merits, his purity, his very name, we take on upon ourselves and we stand before the Lord, holy and blameless. As Ephesians 5 says, Christ presents the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. And he is our faithful husband. 